Hi, I'm Jeff. In this video, we're going to look at the Pocket Tool, which is part of FreeCAD's Part Design Workbench. If you'd like to support the channel, you could buy me a coffee at the link in the description. Now let's have a look at the Pocket Tool. I'm using FreeCAD version 0.19, built on the 20th of July 2020 for this demonstration. I'm using a model that has been designed to suit this demonstration. It's not a real world example and in the future I might revisit this with a model that actually represents something in the real world to show how some of these features would work in that case. But to make it easier for you to see what's going on I'm going to switch to an isometric view and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on the top face of the model and from there I am going to simply create a hexagon at one end. We'll close that. To create a pocket, I select the sketch and then start the pocket tool. As with most FreeCAD tools, the options for the pocket tool is displayed in the tasks view within the combo view. And the pocket tool has five different types of operations. There is a dimension pocket, a through all pocket, a to first face pocket, an up to face pocket, and a two dimensions pocket. First up, we will look at the dimension pocket, which is the default. Now, like the pad tool, you get to specify length. You can do that by typing a number in or by using an expression. In this case, it's defaulted to five millimeters. So we'll leave it at that. The through all pocket creates a pocket through the entire solid. In this case, where it has, is unable to touch pieces, it doesn't create a pocket. It creates part of a pocket when necessary, and as you can see, it's gone the whole length of the model. The to first type will create a pocket from the face that the sketch is on to the first face that it finds. As you can see in this case, it's created the pocket at the top, simply stopped at this face, which is the first. The up to face option allows you to create a pocket up to the face that you select. The pocket will not go through the face, but you could see the outline of the pocket drawn on that face for reference. So to select the face, you click the face button and then choose the face that you want it to go up to. In this, if I was to choose this face, that is highlighted, the pocket would simply go through the first part of the, the object in the model, much like the to first option. As you can see, it's gone through, but not through the face that we selected. If we want to change the face that we're pocketing to, we simply click on the face button and then select the face that we want it to go through. If I choose this bottom face here, the pocket will come all the way through those to there. If I was to choose this top face here, the pocket would come through all the way and then stop before it goes through the, that face. So the pocket tool also has an option for pocketing in two dimensions. So I'll just quickly demonstrate that for you. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on this face here. I might just put in a rectangle for this. Doesn't really matter which one it is. When we open the pocket tool, I'm going to choose the second sketch. 
And then what we're going to do is we'll switch to two dimensions. And like the pad tool, you can specify the depth of the pocket in front of and behind the sketch. So in this case, I've just got a five mil pocket in front of the sketch. So it doesn't come through the bottom and we've pocketed all the way up through the top because we've made it a 100 mil. If we reduce that down to say 60 mil, doesn't come through the top, doesn't come through there either. Make it 75, you can see that it's now pocketing into here and has stopped. If we make the depth of the front 35, you can see it comes through into the bottom. You might use that if you've got a part that needs to fit into two slots, but the slots don't go all the way through the part that it's being mounted in. Now, the other thing we're going to look at is using the pocket tool with a dimension that is reversed. So what we'll, we will do is I will make it a large-ish number so that it can be seen. And as you can see, it's going from the face where the sketch was down. If we reverse it, it goes the other way. So you can see where the sketch is and then it pushes a pocket upwards. You can also make it some, the pocket symmetric to the plane that the sketch is on. And in this case, you can see that it has created a pocket in this face here and has pocketed all the way through the bottom there. If we change the dimension on that, you can see that it has done the same thing, but the pocket dimensions have changed. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.